Hey everybody, we're going to do a one pot meal today called four pork chops. I can barely read it anymore, but it's a recipe of my grandfather, so I'm going to use his old Presto electric pot. And you're going to salt and pepper your pork chops. I'm using three, but the recipe calls for four. This is enough for my husband dinner, lunch, and my dinner. So I have one side of my pork chops, salt and peppered. You'll want one bouillon cube and a cup of hot water. Put your bouillon cube in there. Salt. I swear I can't get a good pepper grinder to save my life. So, I have my bouillon here. And then you will want two tablespoons of dried mint onion. Add that to your bouillon. Then you're going to want a half a teaspoon of thyme. And you'll add that to your bouillon. You'll want a half a teaspoon of sage. Then you'll want one cup of thinly sliced carrots, one package of green beans, and one can of small whole potatoes. You can use canned green beans, canned carrots, frozen carrots. I'm going to use my own uh, green beans I've been freezing as they come in. I just blanch them and put them in the freezer. So we're going to brown these. have my carrot sliced thin that's so they can get cooked and then stir up your bouillon, your onion, your herbs This is a very tasty and easy one pot dish. And you can use all canned veggies in this, canned green beans, whatever. So it's a great pantry meal. I'm thinking you could use your cubed pork. I'm going to open my potatoes and drain them.
once you've browned off your your pork chops, you will add your liquid. and simmer them for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you'll add your green beans and your carrots and let those cook for another 15 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and add the potatoes. It says add potatoes and let it cook for another five. I'm just going to add them with the carrots and the green beans. I'm going to turn this down to a simmer, adding my broth with all the yummies. I added a smidge more water just to get the rest of that out of there. Stir that around. Cover it and let it simmer for 20 minutes. So in 20 minutes we'll be back and we'll add the rest of our stuff. Okay. What are you doing? I'm videoing. 20 minutes is up. He was pulling the clear stuff off of the little refrigerator we got. Our green beans. In the potatoes I'm going to cut up but you can put in there whole He just dumped them in. Canned potatoes are not my favorite, so I'm going to cut them up so they get all that flavor into them. And it's a personal preference thing. And then we will put the lid on. And let them simmer for another 20 minutes. And that broth that juice is so good. Make sure we have enough salt. Cover it up. Another 20 minutes and dinner is served. And everything you need is right there. Okay, dinner is ready. Pork chop. Some veggies.
there it is. I have to put some pepper on it for my husband, but we got some hominy. We got our veggies, our pork chop. And I'll come back in a second and take a bite. Okay. Cut it with a fork. This is going to be smoking hot. I'll burn my face off. Hot. Mm. I used to know how to eat. Mm. Try this, you guys. It's so good. So I'm going to go eat. Watch the storm chasers. Hope there's no tornadoes. You all stay safe. Stay healthy. And I will see you in the next video.